Hi friends, we have a non-fiction book that we are going to read today. The title is We Need Insects by Anna Prokos. So a non-fiction book to help you learn new things. Don't squash that bug. Each day, many insects help us and our planet. Without insects, Earth would be a very different place. Insects are an important part of nature. Some insects help plants grow. Some eat other harmful insects. Some insects keep the soil healthy. Many insects are food for other living things. Some even make things that we use. We need insects. We need insects to help grow our plants. Bees, wasps, flies, moths, and butterflies all fly from flower to flower to sip nectar, a sweet liquid. When they land on a flower, pollen sticks to their bodies. Pollen is a powder on flowers. So they go get the pollen. When insects fly from flower to flower, they spread the pollen. Plants need pollen to make seeds. The seeds then grow into new plants. So the pollen spread by the insects help new fruits, vegetables, and flowers grow every day. They help us grow all that food. Insects that are helpful to humans are called beneficial insects. Many beneficial insects are predators. They eat pests. Ladybugs are great predators. Some ladybugs can eat more than 50 aphids a day. That's good for a farmer because a group of tiny aphids can damage a whole plant. So they eat these bad bugs that are destroying our food. Farmers like to have certain predator insects in their fields. That way, they don't have to use chemicals to kill the pests. These chemicals can be harmful to people and to animals. Some beneficial insects are parasites. Many parasites lay eggs on or in pest insects and the eggs hatch into larvae or young insects. Smart gardeners find ways to bring the beneficial insect predators to their gardens. They attract the insects by growing certain plants. The insects like certain plants and flowers. So they invite them to their gardens to help. Imagine stepping on a dead plant and animals on your walk to school. That's what might happen if insects weren't around. Maggots or fly larvae and some grown insects are decomposers. They get rid of unhealthy things in the environment. Ooh, look at that beetle. He's getting rid of that unhealthy thing in the environment. Decomposers eat dead plants and animals and animal waste. That puts nutrients back into the soil. And by doing this, they make the soil richer. Make it easy to grow things. Insects are also food. Insects are part of a day's meal for many animals. Some birds eat hundreds of insects in one day. Bats and frogs eat insects too. These animals need insects to survive. So if we didn't have insects, we wouldn't have frogs or birds. Animals aren't the only ones who eat insects. People do too. In many places, people feast on all kinds of insects. Many of these insects are good for you. Ooh. This tortilla with roasted grasshoppers and avocado is from a restaurant in Mexico. This man in Uganda is eating white flying ants. In Thailand, a woman co cooks locusts. Insects provide things that we use. 
insects help make all sorts of things that people use. If it weren't for bees, we wouldn't have honey to eat. If it weren't for silkworms, we wouldn't have silk. The table below lists some of the things that insects provide. The bees make honey and silkworms make silk, which is a type of material for clothing. Here's the bees with the honey and here's the silkworm making silk. Insects are beautiful. Many people think insects are beautiful. Some people collect them. The different colors, shapes, and sizes of insects are amazing. Many zoos have gardens where people can see the beauty of insects. What would life be like without insects? Some plants might not produce many fruits and vegetables. Many plants might be damaged or destroyed. Dead plants and animals might stay on the ground for a longer time. Some animals might need to find other food to eat. People wouldn't have many things that we use every day. So the next time you raise your foot to stomp on an insect, walk around it instead. We need insects. The end. I hope you learned something from our nonfiction book, my friends.